Good morning, sons and daughters of God. Chapter 75, March 15th, Humility. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. James 4, verse 6. You are safe only as in perfect submission and obedience you connect yourselves with Christ. The yoke is easy, for Christ carries the weight. As you lift the burden of the cross, it will become light, and that cross is to you a pledge of eternal life. It is the privilege of each to follow gladly after Christ, exclaiming at every step, Thy gentleness hath made me great. But if we would travel heavenward, we must take the word of God as our lesson book. In the words of inspiration, we must read our lessons day by day. The humiliation of the man Christ Jesus is incomprehensible to the human mind. But his divinity and his existence before the world was formed can never be doubted by those who believe the word of God. The Apostle Paul speaks of our mediator, the only begotten son of God, who in a state of glory was in the form of God, the commander of all the heavenly hosts, and who, when he clothed his divinity with humanity, took upon him the form of a servant. In consenting to become man, Christ manifested a humility that is the marvel of the heavenly intelligences. The act of consenting to be a man would be no humiliation were it not for the fact of Christ's exalted pre-existence. We must open our understanding to realize that Christ laid aside his royal robe, his kingly crown, his high command, and clothed his divinity with humanity, that he might meet man where he was and bring to the human family moral power to become the sons and daughters of God. To redeem man, Christ became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. The meekness and humility that characterize the life of Christ will be made manifest in the life and character of those who walk even as he walked. I hope you have a wonderful day. You are a son and daughter of God.